Well, the Hong Kong government, backed by the Chinese uh, government, acted as I expected. So it didn't change much, but it was really important that I witnessed their cruelty to some extent. And when I say cruelty, I know it's a strong word, but I mean, I would have to use the word because it was exactly what I was learned, what I learned in uh, school uh, when depicting uh, the scenes from the Gwangju democratization movement in 1980. I never had a chance to witness such a harsh uh, yeah. crash on the protest. Oh, younger generation definitely do care much about democracy. And I can definitely say the uh, Moon Jae-in government is leaning more towards uh, China than before. And Korean public really is not happy about it. Well, most of the human rights issues are my concern. And at the same time, I mean, if China was to uh, participate in global economy as a uh, major player now, they would have to abide by the uh, rules of the uh, World Trade Organization. And it includes many issues, uh, say, copyright issues and all those stuff. And, but, well, as I said, main concern is the human rights issue and definitely the issues related to Xinjiang and, uh, I mean, Tibet. We should definitely uh, ask North Korea for their change. And definitely we should be in a positive manner saying that we can definitely provide them, provide them with uh, support, you know, humanitarian support and other economic support. But at the same time, we should, uh, we should definitely progress in a uh, slow manner, witnessing their changes and giving them some positive uh, uh, influences. Well, the problem with Moon Jae-in government's uh, uh, inter-Korean relationship was that they tried to dis do this whole business in a whole big deal between the three uh, entities, say Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un and President Moon. But I think uh, inter-Korean relationship is a little more than that. Say, it should not be such a business big deal. Yeah. We should definitely have our uh, philosophy here.